So what is the coefficient of static friction? Which relates to the question before, because I am given a crate that has 50 kilograms. And I found in the question before that the force of friction static was negative 126 newtons. Because I kept pushing with a force applied until I found the, cart, uh, the crate just began to move at 126 newtons. So therefore, the force of friction, static, is negative 126 newtons. The only other characteristic that I can really go after is the force due to gravity. And I know that that equals mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So force of gravity equals 50 times negative 9.8. When I type this into my calculator, 50 times negative 9.8. I get a result of negative 490 newtons, but that also tells me the force normal it is 490 newtons. So now I can add that here. Force normal equals 490 newtons. All right, the thing that I'm looking for is meow, static. And the fun formula tells me that the force of friction static equals mu static times force normal. Okay, now that I got the G, U, and E of my guess technique. I'm going to remove the free body diagram so that I can apply my force of friction static is negative 126 newtons and that equals mu static times my force normal in this case is 490 newtons. In order to get mu static all by itself on the right hand side I'm going to divide by 490 and I do that so that these cancel, cancel. Whatever I do to the right side of the equal sign, I do to the left side of the equal sign as well. 490. And so in the end, I get a mu static of, so here we go, negative, whoops, negative 126 divided by 490. Now, I get this fraction that the Inspire offers me. I want to use the uh, Approximate button, so I'll hit the Control Blue and Enter, and now it gives me a fraction, uh, I'm sorry, a decimal, which is much easier to read, negative 0 0.028062. But I know that coefficients of friction, mu's, need to be absolute, so 0. 0 0.028062 and then if we make it pretty like money I'm gonna go 0 0.03